Australia and at Australia we're getting a, a lot of young professionals uh, just under 31 coming to Australia with a working holiday visa. Yes. Um, there has been a, a recent change in the, in the tax uh, implication for um, work, working holiday visa and uh, work and holiday visa. Uh, so namely the 417 and the 462 visa. Yep. Can you tell us what's, you know, what's been happening, what's, what are the tax Yes, so there's been a change in law from the 1st of Jan 2017. So for work and holiday visas, which is your 462s and your 417s, uh, basically you do not get the, the luxury of having your first 18,000 tax free. Uh, and if that means that your first $37,000 in Australia will get taxed at 15%. The good news is that after, the, after 37,000, you pay tax at ordinary normal resident rates, okay? So, um, yes, there is a bit of a cost, uh, there's a, because you don't get any tax-free threshold, but it's not as bad as working for an unregistered employer, which means that they will work, they will hold back tax at foreign resident rates, 32.5% up to $37,000 and so on. So, foreign resident tax rates are quite high. So. As a working holiday visa holder, you just have to keep in mind that you have to tell your employer and they will hold back the right amount of tax uh, based on a tax table again that they will refer to when, they, when you tell them that uh, you're on a 417 or a 462 visa. So 15%, no luck. Right, so, so yeah, so the key difference is you no get taxed from the first dollar. So, you know, let's say you stay Two months, uh, or you know, for the, for your first month, you your uh, base salary is one thousand uh, dollar. Then you know, one hundred fifty dollar will go to the tax office. Yes, well, the employer will work it out, and that amount will be held back from your income and will be given to the tax office. And then when you do your tax return, they will work out how much tax you really have to pay, and either refund the difference or ask you to pay more.